Third thing uh, I want to talk briefly about is integrity. And the reason I talk briefly about it is because it needs to be talked about, but we don't have enough time to talk about everything, and I don't want to minimize it. I just want to tell you a couple of things on it. Our integrity as leaders and within our organization, our home and everywhere else, there's two key things to start off with. Number one is that you're always leading. People are watching. That's not the question, are they watching? What the question is, is what are they seeing? You're always leading. And the second thing is that everything counts. You see, according to a study of 1,300 executives, out of 16 traits responsible for enhancing effectiveness, 71% said that integrity was at the top of their... 71%, can you imagine getting 71% of senior executives to agree on anything? 71%, that's pretty awesome. Then if you look at uh, the people that you work with, your vendors, their number one expectation is just do what you say you're going to do. Consider it done. Do what you say you're going to do. Then if you look at your employees, they'll say that the most important thing that they need from their leader is that integrity. Because see, if you don't have integrity, if you've, if you've, if you've sacrificed your integrity somewhere, then you're going to lose their trust. And once you lose their trust, you're going to lose the ability to develop them to be what they want to be. And once you lose your, your ability to develop them, then you lose your followers. And once you lose your followers, you've got nobody to lead anyway. So it really all starts with our integrity. Do we do what we say we're going to do? When we say we're going to do it, can they consider it done? Can they walk out the room and know that it's going to be done and done to the level that we're looking for. And one thing that we have to be aware of is that ignoring issues puts our integrity at risk. Problems don't go away. It'd be nice, but problems don't go away. And if you're ignoring an issue, and there's a, there's a story in the book about this, uh, that, you, that you'll probably be able to relate to, but if you're ignoring an issue, that issue will just get bigger as opposed to going away. You see, there's a, there's a rule called the 110-100 rule, and that is if you have an issue that comes about in your workplace, you have a choice to make. That choice could be that you, you, that you attack the issue right where it is. If you choose to not do that, and if you choose to allow it to grow and allow it to get bigger within your organization and maybe move into your whole work team, the same thing that you could have fixed for one, one unit of measurement of time, money, whatever you want to use, you could have fixed for one, now cost you ten times that to fix. And then if you allow it to continue on, and it gets maybe into your customer base or maybe into different departments, the same thing that you could have chosen to fix for one now it cost you 10 to fix, but you chose not to. Now it cost you 100 to fix. See, problems don't go away. Where most people lose their integrity is not necessarily in just making really bad choices that make all the news. It's making these smaller choices of just trying to ignore something, and then they don't trust you to take care of the problems that you've got. It's not the big things, it's all these small things that add up to where we keep our integrity.